What's up guys? Hope you had a good weekend. So a extremely popular modification for these common rail Dodges is second gen swaps. So I'm going to hit on that and show you the second gen swap that I have on this truck. This truck has a T4 steed speed manifold with a Borg Warner 467.7 FMW turbocharger. This is not really a kit that I bought together. These are all separate components that I kind of pieced together. So what I used is a Source Automotive 6 inch intake setup which gives you the filter, the pipe, and you can get the clamps and the boots all there as well. I also got their downpipe. I've had a couple other downpipes from different companies and Source Automotive's downpipe has fit perfectly each and every time with the manifold in the flip down position. It is an option in some of these kits that you can run a manifold that's flipped up. It brings the turbocharger up a little bit. I chose mine to run in the down position. As far as oil feed and drain, I actually sourced separate components and made my own stainless braided oil feed and return rather than buying a kit that some people sell. I'm actually gonna do a separate video all about stainless braided lines and fittings and how you can use them in your fuel system in your uh, oil feed and drain. Uh, there's plenty of applications where stainless braided lines really help clean up and set your engine bay apart from other people. So I'm gonna go over that in a complete separate video. So let me just back up for a quick second and kind of explain what a second gen swap on a third gen is. So a second gen swap is, is basically referring to the placement of the turbocharger. In a second gen, they are kind of like you see, they are more centered and have a exhaust manifold that is a little more equal and places the turbo right in the center of that. On third gens, if you're not aware, have more of a log style exhaust manifold and place the turbocharger down and really cylinders one through four basically have to run into like a log style before they even get to the turbo. So so for performance, an exhaust manifold placed like this really has some gains as far as flow numbers go. So just a quick background on this truck, guys, again, it's a 2008 6.7 six-speed manual. The fuel system in this truck is completely stock, stock injectors, stock lift pump, stock CP3. Uh, we're going to be changing the lift pump here pretty soon, but right now and for the last uh, year that this swap has been on here, uh, it's all been completely stock. So like many people, the factory VGT turbo started giving me quite a bit of problems with the veins sticking open and closed. So this truck had been deleted early on in its life, but still that factory VGT turbo, like many people know, really has a lifespan on it, which is really the whole reason why the second gen swap really happened on this truck. I didn't really want to replace anything that really wasn't giving me problems and that was so that's the whole reason why I went to this and I couldn't have been happier. So the main reason why I went with this turbo is I wanted something that would work with my stock fuel system well, still perform well, still tow well, but would give me room to grow in the future if I ever wanted to upgrade my injectors or other engine modifications. This turbo allows you to keep almost a basically stock truck with minor supporting mods and perform really well but also allows you to add parts over time and really grow without going out of the efficiency range of this turbocharger. As I've mentioned plenty of times before, this truck does quite a bit of towing. The second reason I got this specific charger was between the trailer and the truck that's on it, it's about 15,000 pounds. I didn't want to choose anything that was going to make the setup laggy, smoky, or have very high EGTs. And again, the turbocharger in this configuration uh, has proved to be nothing but amazing. Over the course of owning this setup for quite a while, I have never once worried about my EGTs. I've climbed up extremely big mountains, accelerating uh, with the trailer on without having to worry about it getting hot. Has it been smoky or laggy at all? And the third thing that I mentioned as far as price point goes, when you're looking at S400 chargers, a lot of people, you know, there's very cheap options and there's very expensive options. The thing that I love about Borg Warner uh, with their FMW and now with their SXE charger line, you're getting a factory built performance turbocharger. As far as bang for the buck goes, the FMW and the SXE line from Borg Warner, in my opinion, are the best route to go. So enough of me talking about this thing, let's actually do some driving. So we're just letting the truck warm up a little bit before we take off and I'll show you guys exactly how this turbo acts on the road. Question I get all the time is, 
what tuning am I using or what would you recommend? I always use Gordon from Innovative Diesel for all of my Cummins tuning. If you're interested in getting tunes or talking to him a little bit more about what your options are and what he can do for you, his email is gordon at innovativediesel.com. So we're set up on EFI Live right now and we have one of Gordon's performance tunes in the truck. So we're at a stoplight. I'm just gonna pull out easy and start driving. I'm not gonna get on it too crazy. As you can hear, I'm not really getting on it too much, just normal driving. Normal driving, you're gonna be cruising anywhere from around, uh, I don't know, we're at about seven or something right now. You know, when you're up in the taller gears on the highway, we'll see you usually cruise right around 10 pounds if you're in the throttle a little bit. So we're gonna merge on the highway now. I'm gonna get on a little bit. That was a good uh, half to three quarters. And you can see it comes up on boost extremely easy. And you can tell we're on the highway now going up a slight incline. I'm slightly in the throttle, maybe about quarter percent. And we're just cruising at 10 pounds, just staying right there. So we're just getting off the highway. We're gonna start going again through the gears. doing anything crazy this thing really just holds like five to ten pounds of boost no matter what driving conditions you're doing and again I should mention if you had a bigger fuel system this turbo would perform even faster we're gonna do a fifth and sixth gear pull about wide open throttle super high crazy boost numbers with this thing because like I said we're on stock fuel system 50 pounds is still pretty good for a completely stock truck with a 67 millimeter s400 turbo on it we're just climbing up a pretty decent grade about 55 miles an hour just enough throttle to maintain that speed and we're about 10 pounds of boost I should mention my EGTs on that last little pull there really didn't even go over 1100 thousand degrees coming up this hill right here we're about 700 degrees so I hope that helped you guys out if you're deciding what turbo to go on your second gen swap on your 6.7 a 5.9 truck is obviously gonna act a little bit different than this 6.7 but I know I rambled a little bit but hopefully I hit all the main points of why I have this on my truck as always thanks for watching have a good day